Today we're going to do a fantastic painting of a scene from the Teton National Park and um, here I have multiple photographs to do a composition that I call a Frankenstein composition. So the technique for painting mountains is line your brush up with the edge and pull down. Try not to paint sideways because you're going to make it soft edge that way. If I go like this, it'll actually look like it's raining. That's a really neat effect. Windy and raining. So I'm taking a small brush and I'm following basically what would be the lay of the land. In other words, how things grow. Let's see that if um, it takes millions of years for a mountain to form. Let's see if we can do this in a few minutes. So when you see me reload the brush, it's not because I'm running out of paint, it's because I'm varying. If you look at the photograph again, you can see the granite, you see some orange areas and some gray areas. I'm starting to define these cliffs now. Now hopefully we get another wow moment here. Look, I'm using the tip of my brush and I'm dancing it around. Twisting and turning to get irregular patterns. Now that's bringing a lot of attention up there and that's fine. Nothing says that you have to just do one focal point. In fact, let me show you a really neat technique. I love doing this. Put a baby tree or a smaller tree in front of a group. And it just creates another layer of depth. Ooh, we don't want the sunlight to hit it that much. Once we've established this is the focal point, we don't want to rob the glory from it. But we want these to be at least noticeable enough. Mm -hmm. 